What's up, guys? This is The Rifleman, and I am letting you all know that I am back. Um, I am back, ready to uh, record videos. So, basically, what's happened is, is that um, recently I have... I've moved house, and instead of having to rely on dodgy internet that I have to route through the power cables, which is... Wait, well, so, well... Where I'm at now, but I was previously, I was at the end of the line, at the end of the internet line, at the end of a lane, which has since been built on quite a lot, and the infrastructure hasn't been expanded with it. Um, so the internet was bad in general, and now I'm relying on routing it through the using um, Wi-Fi connector port things to route it through the power lines, uh, which made it even worse, so my internet was just really, really bad. Um, so that's why about... Six months ago, I did try the whole upload regardless, um, but that was just not sustainable. It involved me having um, my PC on overnight while I was trying to sleep, so my quality of sleep went downhill. And also it meant I sort of monopolised what internet we did have compared to my housemates, which wasn't fair on them at all. So I decided that it was just, um, just not sustainable. Whereas where I'm moving now has very good internet and it's got... Someone did a Wi-Fi test in my room, and it was 55 down, 18 up, and that's Wi-Fi. And my this room has in a has an Ethernet port, so should be should be a bit better than that, which is more than enough to upload videos. So what I'd like to try to do is upload um, one video a day. Well, to play to uh, to publish one video a day. I am going on a holiday to New Zealand in. Um, mid-August to mid-September for a few weeks, which should be awesome. Um, so in the lead-up to that, I'm going to be recording and uploading like hell, because I would like uh, to be able to publish a video per day while I'm abroad, so there's no gap. Because um, now, now I have good internet, I would like to do this more seriously than, um, you know, just messing around. Um, so yeah, it's... Things are looking interesting. Like lots, lots of things have changed in my life. So I'm mean, generally a bit more busier in the afternoons, but I'd still like to do some of this in the evenings and keep it, keep it, keep it going and keep it uploading. And I've got the internet to do it, and I've got um, probably not as many, many as most of you. Um, I don't, I don't have many games on Steam, but as like everyone else, there's loads of them I just haven't played. Um, See, so yeah, I'd like to keep going with Empire Total War. I'd like to play some um, Cold Water, some City Skylines. It'd be fun. A major Empires, depending on if I get any better at it. I definitely want to play through all of Company of Heroes. That'd be really good. Um, I'd like to get, gradually get more and play some of the campaigns of Call of Duty, because I just find them really fun. Um, there was a period where I was really into playing the multiplayer, and that was a few years ago now, when I had a YouTube channel, and I got, got sort of successful, kind of, but that was when everyone else was doing it. Um, so I've kind of got off the multiplayer side of it a bit, but I just really enjoy the story, so I'd like to play some of those. Um, Hoi 4... Definitely want to get some of this in. Uh, really enjoy Hoi 4. I love the historical aspect and the alt history aspect of it, so I'm definitely going to get some of that in. Um, then maybe not PUBG, because I'm terrible at it, and it's one of those games that I kind of just play separately with my friends. Prison Architect, uh, some Rome to War, Civ 5, Civ 6. I've not quite got my handle on Civ 6, because I've only played it for seven minutes, and I'm only barely getting into Civ 5. Um... Some of those would be fun. Got Sniper Elite games. Steel Division, maybe. Um, it's it's a bit more intense for me. Yeah, and there's so much going on at the same time, I can get a bit overwhelmed by it. And then a whole load of Total War. So Attila, Empire, Medieval 2, Napoleon, Rome 2, and Three Kingdoms, which I've just recently got. Um, I was giving it to be my, my friend Josh for my birthday, which was a few days, a few weeks ago now. Um, that might be fun. Well, that, well, it will be fun. Um, I just need to do a bit more reading up about it because I tried, I played it for a bit in the campaign and wasn't, it wasn't really meshing, so I had to do a bit more, a bit more reading and learning about that. Uh, the Tropico games are just super fun. Um, I quite like the whole aesthetic. Got some war games, which is similar to Steel Division. If you've played, if you've played Steel Division, these would be quite similar, but they're called Warring. Similarly, if you've played this, it's very similar. Steel Division is pretty much the same, except with um, World War Two stuff. And then I've got all a whole load of 40Ks, which. Really enjoyed uh, Dawn of War 1. That was super fun. Dawn of War 2 was a bit different. 
because the mechanic was just a bit more intimate, having smaller squads and well, almost having independent heroes. Then 40k Space Marine. Um, yeah, that was just fun. <laughs> there was, I remember for a start, actually, there's one mission on it that's an absolute pain in the ass. Um, it took me so long and I raged so much trying to do it, but I finally did it. But in general, who doesn't want to be a massive bulky Space Marine cutting through everything? <laughs> just shouting die heretics um yeah so yeah i'm back i oh and banished banished is fun <laughs> yeah 400 hours yeah like I, said, I don't i don't spend as much time um playing games as i used to um but see for me 100 hours in a game is a lot <laughs> um let's see let's have a look at my start curiosity it's empire yeah see only 600, 650 whereas people quite confidently rack up like thousands of hours in games they like super quickly and super easily i just i just can't you know outside can be super fun at times <laughs> um but yeah i'm i'm back and i'm really looking forward to cracking on and what i'd like to do is right now i've got um let's have a look so on my channel right now i have what campaigns have i got on the go ah I don't need to <laughs> let it load. Um, yeah, France, the United States, United Provinces, and Russia. So France is a more unique one. Um, so I've played through a few games. I've played through a few more parts in this France campaign, and I've just really botched in and a really bad job. So I'm going to reboot it and slightly change my style just a bit because I was even like I watched the recordings back and it was clear I wasn't having a fun time and that doesn't make it doesn't make for a good video um so I'm going to do a bit of a reboot reboot of France carry on with these three um whichever one ends first I think I'm going to replace with a Hearts of Iron campaign because that's just really fun and I'm not that good at it um I don't play for the min max you know 20 combat width 40 combat width well that's not min maxi but you know those are the figures there the optimal for various scenarios i don't really bother with that i just like to add things that would be thematic for the time where i'm kind of going you know ooh, i've got a tank division i'm going to add a unit of self-propelled artillery not necessarily add four to make it to full combat width but kind of well if you played hearts of iron you'll kind of know what i mean and you'll either kind of be thumbs up that sounds cool or thumbs down that's terrible you should be um, much more strategic about it um but yeah those are my intermediate plans crack on with these campaigns and um, whichever one wraps up first star hearts of iron which could probably be i'm not sure which of these two it'll be it depends on which one's a long campaign or world domination i'll have to check um but yeah this is i'm just i'm just rambling now <laughs> to be honest um but yeah i'm back i think it's gonna be really fun and i'm gonna upload some different stuff hopefully and which i think you'll enjoy um yeah well thanks for that everyone and chances are I'll be uploading this at the same time as the first part of my France campaign, which I'm about to record now. So, yeah, see you in a handful of minutes for you. Um, and a handful of minutes for me too, I guess. <laughs> Rightio, see you guys.